What's happening? I ain't going out like this! I heard Bumpy got hurt! What happened? He got in a fight with Dark Bumpy. Bumpy managed to stop Dark yeah. Bumpy from launching a bomb that would yeah. wipe out the whole planet. Nice one, Anger! Don't distract me! It's time to teach Dark Bumpy a lesson, once and for all! Uh, ow. Yeah. Okay, I think he's had enough. Not yet he hasn't! But Bumpy was filled with too much anger, and he forgot the bomb was already primed to explode! Bumpy hasn't woken up since. What about Dark Bumpy? He disappeared. Poor Bumpy. Huh? Who is that? I don't know, but it looks like they've been killed! I don't believe it! Don't believe what, Bubba? This looks like Bumpy's anger emotion! Okay, then what is it doing outside Bumpy's head? Perhaps his emotions jumped ship, thinking Bumpy was going to die? You think he's going to die? If his emotions are out of his head, he will! So, if we're able to find the rest of Bumpy's emotions and put them back in his head, we could save him? Precisely! One problem, where are Bumpy's other emotions? And who killed this one? Boy, that sure was a close one! I'm starting to think we should have never left Bumpy's body. We didn't have much of a choice, Sadness. Headquarters was crashing, remember? How could I forget? Just you wait! Once we find all the other emotions, we'll all feel much better! <sighs> See? We've already got anxiety back! Things will be looking up in no time! Someone killed Anger! What? We were both in Bumpy's head while he was getting taken to the med bay. But Anger must have been able to see how weak the fight made me. Anxiety? You need to get out of here! No, Bumpy needs to survive. You won't survive if you don't get out of here now! That's when I left Anger in there and left Bumpy's head. But as soon as I got out, I ran to make sure Anger was keeping Bumpy alive. But when I got there, Anger was outside of Bumpy's body and dead! Well... Do you know who did it? I don't know for sure. But I did hear footsteps running towards the room. I had a feeling the footsteps belonged to whoever killed Anger, so I ran away. You did the right thing, Anxiety. They're probably going to kill us next, aren't they? Not if I have anything to say about it. Come on, you two. We're going to Bumpy's hospital room to confront these killers. Are we sure that's the best plan of action? Anywhere is better than out here. Any luck, Bubba? Nothing. There are no emotions anywhere. I did a lap of the surrounding area. And? I didn't see any loose emotions. Passes. How about we try thinking of other places they could be? Hmm. Well, if I were Joy, I'd be... Running around an open field, away from the noise of the city. That's great, Hoppy. You go next, Bubba. Where do you think Sadness would run to? Perhaps Sadness would like to be surrounded by others who are sad. <laughs> Like a graveyard! Good thinking, Bubba! My turn next! Where do I think an emotion like disgust would hide? Oh, I know! A garbage dump! Wait a minute, what if we're thinking of this all wrong? How so? I imagine the emotions see each other like family, just like our smiling critters. And where do our smiling critters like to be when things get tough? Together! Exactly! The other emotions are most likely meeting up at Anger's body, so they can figure out who killed him! Excellent job, Bubba! Let's get back to Bumpy's hospital room before we're too late! There they are! hi -ya! Stay back! Don't hurt her. No! That's it! I'm out of here! Hoppy! I'm on it! Wow, you're pretty fast, huh? You too! Everyone, just calm down! You want us to calm down? You killed our friend! What? No, we didn't! We lived inside Bumpy's head! We know how you smiling critters operate! You fight first, and ask questions later! That's not true! Then why are you aiming lasers at us? You started it! No, you started it! Look, we really don't have time for this! Bumpy is going to die if you don't get back into his head! We aren't going back until we find out which one of you killed Anger! For the last time! Time. None of us did! Oh yeah? Then where's anxiety? Poppy probably brought her back to my lab. Why? So you could experiment on her? So we can figure out how to save Bumpy. And we need you alive in order to do that. 
Clearly there's been some confusion here. I promise we won't put you back in Bumpy's head until we get to the bottom of this. We want to know how Anger died just as much as you do. Fine. What about Dark Bumpy? Do you think he could have killed Anger? Impossible. Dark Bumpy hasn't been seen since the incident. I have a theory. What is it? What if it were another one of the emotions that killed Anger? Are you crazy? Why would any of the others turn on Anger like that? It was just a thought. I don't see you coming up with any other alternatives. <sighs> I knew this wouldn't work out. Come on, everyone. We're leaving. Uh, I think Bubba might actually be onto something. What? Things were getting pretty intense during Bumpy and Dark Bumpy's fight. I'm tired of this guy popping up and trying to kill us! Anger was starting to become uncontrollable. <laughs> You're too focused on Dark Bumpy, Anger! We need to defuse that bomb still! Let me finish giving Dark Bumpy a message about messing with us! Then we'll deal with the bomb! Anxiety, what's going on? We're getting hurt bad. I think it's time we try evacuating. Evacuating? You think Bumpy is going to die? If we don't defuse that bomb, he is. Enough about the bomb! You need to prepare to leave. Now! Ah! Ah! Now I've got you! But anger, the bomb! A lot of the other emotions were upset with anger because if he wasn't acting the way he was, Bumpy would have been safe. Are you telling me that there are still emotions inside Bumpy's head? If there are, they're probably all dead by now. Then that settles it. We're on the hunt for emotions again. Find out which one killed anger. I still can't believe any of them would do that. I'm sorry, Joy, but it's the only thing that makes sense. All right, team. Seems like we've got a mission on our hands. Let's work together and split up into groups to cover more ground. Any luck over there? Nothing. Okay, let's keep looking. Hey, are you okay? You seem upset. I'm just worried about Bumpy. I don't want him to be remembered as an angry person. Trust me, he wasn't. Sure, he could have led that fight with less anger, but he still saved a lot of people. He's a hero, Hoppy, and heroes don't get knocked down so easily. He'll push through this. Don't worry. Thanks. I needed to hear that. Anytime. Ready to keep running. Let's do this. Whoa. Are you okay? Something's wrong. I feel... Uh, we. Let's get back to Bubba's lab. You've had a long day. I still can't believe any of the other emotions would kill anger. Are you walking faster or am I getting slower? I mean, I would understand them being upset with him, of course, but killing him? Joy. Uh, and don't even get me started on Bubba. Everyone around here always acts like he's the smartest one around, but can you remember a time one of his devices didn't fail? Joy. What sadness? Sadness? Ooh, so that's what that button does. Sadness is dead! What? Who killed her? Nobody! I, I don't even know what happened. She just fell to the floor. Uh-oh. Am I going to die next? Are you sure you aren't the killer, Joy? I'm shutting that theory down right there. I would never kill anyone, let alone another emotion. I suppose there is another possibility. What is it? You emotions weren't made to last outside of Bumpy's body. What are you trying to say? I'm saying, the longer you've been out here trying to find Anger's killer is the reason you're starting to die. Anger was never killed by anyone. He was just already weak when he left Bumpy's head. So uh, what do you suggest we do? You need to find a host, or you won't last much longer out here. But Bumpy's dying! I never said you have to choose to go inside Bumpy's head again, but you should know that if you don't, his chances of survival drop drastically. We'll do it. We'll go back to Bumpy. But anxiety... We had a purpose, Joy. We devoted our lives to Bumpy. Can't you see how much the critters care about him? You're right. Bumpy needed us now more than ever, and we abandoned him. Let's get you all back there before there are any more casualties. Now, if my theory is correct, the deceased emotions should begin to resurrect if Bumpy heals from his injuries. And you're gonna do everything in your power to make sure he does heal, right? It may be hard to fully grasp from in there, but Bumpy means an awful lot to us critters. I will not fail him. You all mean a lot to him too. Good luck. Uh, uh, wait, what are you doing? Stay back! Ah! What happened to Dog Day? Isn't it obvious? He's been killed! But... who would do that? <laughs> uh, who's there? Who's ready for a weekend of fun? What the heck? Who killed Dog Day? I believe it was Cat.
cat nap. What? Why would you think that, Bubba? Look around. He was the only one missing when we woke up. Kick and Chicken is gone too, though. Maybe they saw the killer and ran away together. Perhaps they both worked together to kill Dog Day. Do you really think that either of them would do that? Now that I think about it, they would have a reason to. And what would that be? It started when we were getting ready to go on the trip. If we start packing everything now, we should be able to get to the cabin before sundown. Dog Day, Catnap, and Kick and Chicken were fighting. What were they fighting about? Catnap was trying to tell Dog Day that the weather was too bad to go camping. And what about Kick and Chicken? He thought that Dog Day's map was wrong. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong, Dog Day. There's a shortcut we can take through the woods that will get us there in no time. Dog Day and Kick and ended up getting into a pretty big argument, which ended with Kick and Chicken ripping Dog Day's map. <laughs> this trip is going just as well as I expected. Uh, then don't come! Fine. And you! Why did you do that to my map? Because you weren't listening to me! Well, if you're so confident in your little shortcut, why don't we let the other smiling critters pick who they want to go with? We'll see who gets there first. Hmm. Were the groups pretty split up between the critters? No, everyone chose Dog Day's side. That does give Kick and Chicken a motive. He was probably pretty embarrassed that nobody chose his side. Are you sure? That doesn't seem like either of them at all. I still think they could have just ran away. Good idea, Hoppy. Let's search the cabin to see if Kick and Chicken and Catnap are hiding somewhere. That's not what I meant. What was that? Uh, it sounded like it came from the basement. Let's go! Whoa! Chicken, chicken! He's been killed too? What is going on here? Catnap must have killed him too! I'm out of here! Wait, no! Hoppy, we need to stick together if there's a killer on the loose! Hoppy, come back! Oh, why would she do that? Perhaps it's because she is the real killer. What? You think Hoppy? Dog Day? It would make sense. We were just about to head out on our trip when Dog Day revealed some news to Hoppy. Oh, I'm sorry, Hoppy, but it looks like we overpacked the car, so there won't be enough seats for you. What do you mean? But you could just run to the cabin. But you would get there so much faster than me. Not if you run super fast. If you say so. I guess that wasn't very nice of Dog Day, but I don't think that was any reason for Hoppy happy to kill him. Me neither, but it's what happened on the way there that may have pushed her over the edge. The car was quite ahead of Hoppy, just as she'd predicted. But she must have taken the shortcut Kickin' Chicken was talking about. Dog Day hit Hoppy with his car? No wonder she was so angry with him. But that doesn't mean she killed him. Maybe she really did just get scared? Either way, we should go after her. If she isn't the killer, she's in real danger out there. What? There's no way I'm going after her just to let her kill me. Well, what are you going to do then? Just stay here and hide in that bunker? Wait a second. How did we just notice that bunker? Oh, thank goodness you did. This looks like the perfect place for me to hide until this is all figured out. Fine, scaredy cat. You stay here. Bumpy and I will find Hoppy and get this all sorted out. Hoppy! Are you out here? Hoppy! It's okay! You can trust me! Uh, did you hear that? Hoppy, is that you? <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know, but it doesn't look friendly. Run! Whoa! Ah! Are you okay? Uh, he must have been vegetarian. Uh, we should probably hide out in this cabin before he gets desperate enough to actually eat us. Good idea. Poppy? She was killed too! I don't understand! How could this have happened? This means that the killer really wasn't Hoppy! But then who is it? I don't know, but Bubba is in danger! What if he's the killer and he just stayed back at the other cabin so we would be far enough away for him to escape? Either way, we have to go back! Let's see if he's still in the hatch! Yeah. Wait a second, this isn't a bunker for hiding. This is a tunnel? Oh, Bubba must have escaped through here! What do we do? We see where this tunnel leads and we find Bubba! 
is this the play care? How long has this been here for? Come on, Bubba has to be around here somewhere. <laughs> this can't be good. Leave us alone, Mommy Long Legs. Back so soon from your trip? Did you forget something? We don't have time for this. Have you seen Bubba? <laughs> oh, I've seen him all right. In fact, he was just running out of this very basement. Where is he? Even if I did tell you, you wouldn't make it in time. What are you talking about? She probably means that he's killing someone else next. <laughs> Even if he is the killer, how would we stop him? He could be anywhere! I hate to say this, but it looks like we'll have to split up. Keep your guard up, and if you see him, call for help. Okay. Bubba, I know what you did. Come out now, and I won't attack you. Bubby! Crafty Corn! Oh, I hope this means she found him. Catnap! Bubba was right all along. You're the killer. Uh, get back here! You won't be able to outrun me! Just admit that you've been killing the smiling critters! I haven't been! Then explain why you were standing over Crafty Corn's dead body! Because I'm also trying to figure out who the killer is! I woke up to find Dog Day had been killed. So I searched the cabin for who could have done it. That's when I found the secret tunnel. I searched the play care, but had no luck finding the killer there either. That's when I realized that they may still be at the cabin. But when I got back, I found that more critters had already been killed. I assumed you would all blame it on me, so I ran back here to wait and explain myself. That's when I heard Crafty Corn calling for you. But when I got there, I was too late. If that's true, then why did you run from me? Because you seemed angry. Fair enough. So if you're done chasing me, I propose we work together to solve this before one of us gets killed. Well, lucky for you, I know who the killer is. Who? It's Bubba. Impossible. Huh? How come? Bubba was killed too? I assumed you already knew. But that would mean that it was none of the smiling critters. It must be one of the many others that lurk around these halls. Is it just me? Or was that Huggy Wuggy in a different position before? I think now is a good time to run. I still don't understand how Huggy Wuggy could have killed all of the others. I have a feeling it was mostly luck. He must have stumbled into the tunnel that led to the cabin. Kick and Chicken got to the cabin late because he decided to try taking his own way there. That's when he heard something coming from the basement, and when he went to investigate, Huggy Wuggy caught him by surprise. Dog Day must have heard Kick and Chicken get killed and woke up, only to be killed right after means Poppy really was scared and just ran away. She must have thought she was being followed and ran to a location she thought was safer. Little did she know, Huggy Wuggy had the same idea. While Crafty Corn and I were looking for Hoppy, Huggy Wuggy must have found his way back to the cabin and went back in the bunker, which just so happened to be where Bubba was hiding. Great, I'm glad all that's figured out. Now, how do we stop him from killing us? He won't kill us, because unlike the others, we know he'll be coming and we can outsmart him. It sounds like you have a plan. I always have a plan. You really think this is going to work? I sure hope so. It all depends on how well you can act. Don't put this on me. It was your idea. Just call for him already. Oh, Huggy! Stop. 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 I want to make a deal. I have captured Bumpy. He's all yours if you leave me alone. How could you, Catnap? Well, what is it? Do we have a deal or not? Catnap? Just go eat him already! <laughs> uh, that was way too close. 